Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you add new vendors, they will have their default information set to match the settings specified by your vendor defaults. You can change this information if necessary. Then all you will have to enter is information that is unique to each vendor. You add new vendors through the Maintain Vendors window in Sage 50. You can access this window by selecting Maintain Vendors from the menu bar. The top of the Maintain Vendors window has two text fields and one checkbox. The first text field is the vendor ID, which is the code that you enter to uniquely identify your vendors. There is also the name of the vendor. This is the name to show on reports and bills received from the vendor. The checkbox called Inactive is the box that you check to make a vendor inactive. On the General tab, you input the vendor's contact and primary mailing address information into the fields provided. You can enter a contact name for the vendor into the Contact field. You can then enter your account number assigned by this vendor into the account number field. You then enter the address to which you remit vendor payments into the mailing address fields. You then enter the city, state, and zip for the vendor as well as the country if needed. You can enter a vendor type of your choosing into the field of the same name. This field can be used to filter vendors for reporting purposes. You can set the 1099 type for vendors that need a 1099, such as subcontractors. The expense account field shown is the default general ledger account used for transactions with this vendor. You can change this on a per transaction level as needed. Then enter the primary and secondary phone numbers for the vendor into the Telephone 1 and Telephone 2 fields. You can enter a fax number for the vendor into the fax field. Then enter the vendor's email and website into the email and website fields if desired. You then enter the data that you want to record for the specific vendor into the Customizable Fields section. These fields are the ones that you created for your vendors when you set your vendor defaults. On the Addresses tab, you can copy the vendor's mailing address to any one of the selected Remit to Address lines shown. You can do this by selecting the desired Remit to Address from the Copy Mailing Address to drop-down, and then clicking the adjacent Copy button. You can also manually add or edit the information recorded for the different Remit to Addresses listed at the bottom of the Addresses tab, by clicking into the desired row and entering the information into the column shown. In the Address Defaults section, use the two drop-downs to select the default address to use for payments and purchase orders that are sent to this vendor. Next, click the History tab. You can access the Beginning Balances window for your vendors by clicking the Vendor Beginning Balances button that appears at the bottom of the History tab. In the Vendor Beginning Balances window, you can enter the dates and amounts of bills that you received but have not yet paid to your vendors as of the start date of your company file. You do this if you had one or more outstanding bills from this vendor which you owed as of the start date of your Sage 50 company file. After entering the vendor bills, click Save in this window to finish recording these bills and close the window when you're done. The History tab also tracks and shows your purchases, payments, and last payment information for the selected vendor. This is updated every time you enter a transaction for a vendor. You can enter historical information when creating a new vendor. After that, Sage 50 will track and show information about your recent transactions with this vendor on this tab. On the Purchase Info tab, you enter purchase information about the vendor. Here you assign the vendor's tax ID number if you have to send the vendor a 1099, your preferred method of shipping from them, and your terms with the vendor. The Tax ID Number field is used for vendors that have a tax number you must input if you plan on sending them a 1099 MISC or 1099 INT form. The Ship Via field is used to select the default shipping method used by this vendor to send you products. This is a field that you can always change at the time of purchase as well. You can then set specific terms with this vendor if they differ from your vendor defaults by selecting the Customize Terms for this vendor choice from the Terms and Credit drop-down. You can then set your specific terms from this vendor into the area below the drop-down. You can also select how the vendor prefers batch forms sent to them in the Form Options section. You can select either paper form or email. When you batch print items such as purchase orders from the Selector Reporter form window, this choice determines whether the form is printed or automatically emailed. 
To have an email sent to the purchase rep whenever a form is emailed, check the Email Purchase Rep when using Batch Processing to Send Forms checkbox. To replace the item ID within Batch Forms with either the item's UPC SKU or part number, check the Replace Item ID checkbox and then select either the UPC SKU or part number option button. To use the last saved payments cash account and payment method when paying this vendor, check the Use Payment Method and Cash Account from the last saved payment checkbox in the Payment Settings section. Alternatively, to set a default cash account and payment method to use for payments, uncheck the Use Payment Method and Cash Account from last saved payment checkbox in the Payment Settings section, and then use the Payment Method dropdown to select the default payment method to use and the cash account drop-down to select the default cash account to use. When you have finished entering the vendor's information into the maintained vendor's window, you can click the Save button to save the information and leave it displayed on screen. Alternatively, you can click the Save and New button to save the vendor's record and create a new blank vendor record to enter another new vendor if desired. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.